Hi guys, good morning. How's it going? Today we are at the Whitney Mesa um, Trailhead hike. It's in Henderson, Arizona. And we're gonna go up along this ridge. And it is just about 10 minutes outside of Las Vegas. Um, the trail, an airplane going over us right now. We're in the flight path. Bear with me a sec. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there it is. Big bird coming in. Yeah, lots of fun in Vegas. And so, Henderson, on a side note, is a very nice town. It didn't used to be. Yeah, it's but, uh, really pretty. But it was kind pretty. of a second-rate Vegas, and now it's totally upscale from what we've seen. It's a pretty, pretty awesome place. This, uh, the Whitney Mesa Nature Preserve rat. Um, it has Snakes, a couple different trails, coyotes. a park. Yeah, the sign at the beginning says, beware of snakes and coyotes. Um, I believe they call this a sunset trail because they said there's really nice views at night at sunset. It's really pretty. And it's on the outskirts of a neighborhood here. And it goes along the bluff behind us. Um, again, it's about 10 minutes from Vegas. And they said them, the trail's about 1.3 miles each way, not real long. But uh, we decided that was a perfect trail to do today and to chat with you guys and say hi and show you the nice warm sun here. It's, 82 and sunny. It's supposed to be 82 day. today. Yeah, it's uh, like 74, 75 right now. So it's beautiful out. And just a quick shout out to our family and friends that are veterans. We'll probably miss some people, but uh, our fathers, yep. my brother, um, Brian, Brian, of Lorraine and Brian, our new friends. Yep, JG the Great, and uh, Randy Bankafire, my brother from another mother. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How you doing, bro? Yeah, we wanted to say hi to all the veterans and give them a shout out for Veterans Day. We know it's a couple days past and we did put something on our blog already to them, but um, just a little shout out on the video. Should we go that, down that way? Or? Oh no, it's just a hill. This is a giant anthill oh. full of three foot long <laughs> ants. Yeah, right it's here. not. Yeah. So stay away from this if you're smart. <laughs> so this is what the trail looks like. It's partially gravel. And I read somewhere that there is some concrete, but it's wide. Just a slight incline. Nice. It'd be good for bikes. Also stop right here at this oasis ahead to water your horse or your camel. Uh, yeah, and there to be riding there's that some day. palm trees coming up here. They're really pretty. So Nevada has a lot of uh, fun stuff to do besides Vegas. There's a lot of hiking trails. There's a lot of weird um, oddities. Which yeah, we like use a, attract roadside attractions. We call them oddities. And there's an app we use for that, right? Yeah. Do you use what's it called? Yeah, it's called Roadside America. And it uh, looks up your, by GPS, it finds where you are. And it tells you all the strange things to do and see within a certain amount of miles of your area. And there really is 
the world's biggest ball of twine <laughs> and um, all that weird stuff out there. Yeah, and it's a super fun app and we just like looking at the stuff even if we don't get to visit it. But I think it's like $3. It's a one-time fee to download it. And a lot of that stuff is like mid-century when it was, you know, shortly after World War II and they were trying to make oddities and attractions for people to stop and see when they were out traveling. So pretty cool. Yeah. So we've traveled approximately 200 feet and we've hit a second oasis, so we're gonna stop and water the horses and the camels and uh, continue on from there. There's some water coming down here, a little bridge. I read there was a stream on this hike. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. In Nevada. Yeah. We need to set the thing. Right? Yeah. So the trail goes up through this and over under there. So I don't know why it is, but uh, every trail that Stephanie picks up or picks out is always uphill. I feel like we never go downhill. All we do is go uphill. So <laughs> either I'm getting old or my glasses aren't showing the right angle, but I swear you we're going uphill. You have to go downhill one way or the other. Why do we always it's go physics. uphill? We've never gone downhill ever. On the way back, we go downhill. I bet this goes uphill. <laughs> I, don't uh, think, I don't think it's going to ever go downhill. It just goes uphill all the time. No, it, it goes downhill at the end. <laughs> this is a lot of uphill, but that's how you get to the great views. So we made it up to the first viewpoint. Just gorgeous. Today's hike and chat topic, bucket list items. Jeff and I were just talking about these and things we want to do and see while we're on the road. So this is places we want to see that we haven't been to? Or Yeah, I mean, I guess you can go back to the places if you want to. I mean, some things we've seen so briefly passing through that it might be something you want to spend more time on. That's, this is true. So, uh, you go first. Well, one of my big bucket list items is Key West. Yeah, Yay. I'm on that one too. I've heard about it all my life and seen vacation photos and I just think the history down there, the culture is so cool and... Plus sun, sand, and the yeah, ocean. You can't go wrong with Hello. that. Hello. Oh yeah, cocktails are good. My reader. <laughs> So yeah, that's a definite do for Yep, that's a good one. For me, what's one of yours? Uh, let's see. Well, definitely all things Texas so I can wear my cowboy hats. Yeah, cowboy And I, hat. I can fit in, I won't feel stupid. <laughs> so uh, I got the George Strait, I got the Jason Aldean, and I got the country bumpkin hat. Yeah, and you can wear, Straw hat. You can wear shorts and cowboy boots too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's okay. I, I think that'd be a little village people-ish. <laughs> so I probably won't do that, but um, yeah. That'll be good. Yeah, and I want to go to South Padre Island in Texas. I've heard it was really beautiful. I, I'm a beach girl, love the beach, anything to do with water, sand. Right, and I'm a beach girl too. 
So, uh, <laughs> uh, no, but um, I kind of want to see that whole uh, the arc exper experience, which no, is an arc. Um, the arc experience, I think it's called. No, it's not experience. It's something. It's in Kentucky. <laughs> anyway, so it's a full-size replica of Noah's Ark, and uh, I think whether you're religious or you're not. Um, I think it'd be worthwhile stopping there because, I mean, they literally build an ark and it's massive and they use the big timbers and it's loaded with displays and information and uh, a lot of people have gone there and they just say it's just breathtaking. So that's kind of one of mine. Yeah, I think I'm going to share that one too. We have a lot of similar uh, bucket list items, which works really well for us because we want to see the same thing. Airplane. Helicopter. Oh, that one's a helicopter. Um, whose turn is it? Um. Okay, it's my turn again. <laughs> so, uh, okay, it's Jeff. The other thing I'd really like to see is uh, like the uh, Civil War battlefields, like Gettysburg and uh, uh, some of those other battlefields that were famous from the history books that uh, they kind of don't talk about anymore. So uh, that's something I'd really like to see. And, and Jeff is a big history, history fan. History, I love it. Yeah. So that's that's been his bucket list item for as long as I've known him. He's always wanted to go to see battlefields and visit them. Yeah, that sounds super cool. Yeah. All right, Steph, you wish oh, yours. There's so many things. I want to go to Nashville. Yeah, I want to go to Nashville too. We're big country music fans. And just going there and going to the Grand Old Opry and all that, it's just... To me, that just and makes I, my heart happy. Yeah, and I have received several calls from uh, agents who'd like to sign me up as the next great thing. So uh, <laughs> they're thinking I got a real shot. So we're looking at that too. Yeah, he is a good singer, though. If Hello. anyone wants to do karaoke, bring call, it. Call this kid. Yeah, bring it. <laughs> uh, so I, of course, want to go to New Orleans. Oh yeah, we gotta go to New Orleans. Totally. Yeah, gotta go there. I'm and, uh, a big uh, architecture junkie and I love all the old architecture and plantations and all that stuff too. That just And, and I enjoy fun. the debauchery of the human uh, making fools of themselves. So yeah. uh, that's something I'm looking forward to <laughs> as well. So yeah. Those are good bucket list items. Right. We've already done a few of them um, since we've been on the road. We did Custer's Last Stand. Yeah, that was awesome. In Montana. Yep. And Jeff had wanted to see that for... And Evil Knievel well, Jump Site at the Snake River. And the Evil Knievel Jump Site. That was yeah. super cool. Yeah. We went to Devil's Tower was a big one Devil's for Tower us. Devil's Tower was cool. We saw the cemetery for uh, Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane. That was yeah. very cool. And that whole Black Hills area, Deadwood. Yeah, South um, Dakota was absolutely amazing. Mount Rushmore was great. I mean, you kind of have to kind of have to go to Mount Rushmore once in your life I think it's, yeah it's for sure epic. for sure yeah and I think another thing we have done that we have a lot more to do of is the national parks um we've been to Grand Canyon and like arches and canyon lands and um yeah, went through this, the side of Yellowstone we did Zion they're escaping me right now but we have a bunch more we want to do. In general. Yeah. I also want to go to uh, uh, Pennsylvania and see the Amish people and show them what a cell phone looks like. Uh, <laughs> just to, you know, let Blow them know what they're minds. missing. Yeah. Blow their minds. Yeah, maybe I can get a chair and uh, I'll show them how a phone works. It's our new challenge to see how many of the Amish we can get to subscribe on to our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go on a wild, take a wild guess here and say zero. <laughs> But Something hey, like it's that. a challenge. I like it. Hi guys. How you doing? Morning. Yeah, we like it. If it's a challenge, we'll yeah. do it. I'd like to go to Niagara Falls. Yeah. Niagara Falls would be cool. I have uh, this wooden barrel I've been working on that uh, <laughs> it should be ready in a couple days. I just got to get a mattress with <laughs> stuff in it. Really? And that'll be fun. Just going over there. How about there. some bubble wrap? Uh, you might yeah. need some of that too. I'm going to take Ziggy Myers with me. Aww, just for fun. Little Ziggy. So I have company. Good. That'll be fine. That sounds like a great trip for you. Yeah. I'll meet you at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want to retract my last statement about uh, going uphill the whole time because 
Stephanie has somehow found a flat area for me to walk on. So, uh, you know, my lungs are still in my chest, so I'm okay. Yay. Thanks, honey. Yay. Appreciate that. Yeah, You're appreciate welcome. that. Um, can we go back to uh, uh, bucket list places? Yeah, bucket list. Okay, okay so um, I kind of really want to go to like North Carolina and the Outer Banks. I, I've kind of been through there and I've been to like Polly's Island, uh, Myrtle Beach area. And uh, the ocean there is, is spectacular. Um, it's the Atlantic Ocean, not as fun as the Caribbean Ocean or the Gulf of Mexico, whatever, but um, it's really beautiful there. And uh, it'd be a fun place to visit. So that's one of my big places to go. Okay, noted. Yeah. Yeah, noted. Really, in all honesty, there's not too many places I don't want to go. Here's the good thing about the RV life in general, you know? People always think, oh, you know, you're gonna go to the Grand Canyon and Zion and Yellowstone and all these big, huge, famous parks. But when you're living the RV life, you can go to any random town in America and they will have some kind of historic stuff going on there, whether it's a museum or a town park full of displays and this is so true we found this out when we stay in these small little rv parks there's always something cool to do we have never just sat there and go huh there's and nothing to do here there's always something to see or do there's always something to see or do and there might be ice cream so uh the, the other thing I, I have kind of noted and we've talked about is that um when you live on the coast like we have most of our lives whether the east or the west or whichever coast you're on. Um, life is very different. And when you get into the middle part of the country, the heartland, so to speak, um, there's such a genuine warmthness about the people and the places you go. People are so glad to see you and they want to know about you and where you're from and where you're going. And they're just very, very gracious and um, happy to see you. It's very, very cool. What'd you say, honey? Agreed. No. A hundred percent. We are staying in an RV park right now. Um, it's a Thousand Trails RV park in Las Vegas. Thousand Trails Las Vegas. It sounds sexy. <laughs> but is it indeed sexy? And <laughs> as we sit out and have our evening drink in our comfy rocking lounge chairs. It's like an episode of Cops, <laughs> yeah. if you ever watch that. So, <laughs> we have noticed that about every three minutes, there's- Three seconds. <laughs> three minutes, there's sirens. There's the police helicopter sort. circling us. I always run inside, because I think they're on to me. <laughs> yeah, um, they're circling with searchlights on, usually. Yeah. We hear uh, loud cars. We've heard the random gunshot. And we, we have heard what we thought I'm comfortable was with that, but, you know. It could have been something backfiring. It could have been it a firework. I wasn't. don't know. But it it's definitely a different experience from everywhere else we've stayed this, this uh, past six months. So a lot of parks, we've been actually surprised how quiet they are. And you sit out there at night and uh, it, it's like, you, it's just crickets. You hear nothing. Yeah, nothing. But here, this is a different experience because- And they're dark too. They're really dark at night. And the really thousand dark, trails yeah. we're in right now is lit up like a birthday cake. Yeah, it is pretty lit up. There's Hi, lots folks. of lights. How are you? And uh, yeah, so it's, it's kind of different when you're sitting there at night in your chair and uh, you're reminiscing over the day you've just had and the things you've done. And uh, all of a sudden a plane comes in like that when I'm there. And uh, then yes. the sirens start, and the gunshots. Yeah, and or the occasional crash. Oh yeah, we hear cars. crashes, crashes. Yeah. We haven't heard anybody screaming yet, but we're kind of hoping that happens so we can kind of have four big events all at the same time. Yeah, it's super cool. exciting. It's like clockwork. You can yeah. set your, your watch to it just every two to three minutes. Yeah, so. It's, it's not that big of a deal to board up the door on the RV at night, but uh, <laughs> it seems to work pretty good, so we feel yeah. safer. I don't know if you can see the mountains out there. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see them back. It's really pretty. Okay, we're going to keep walking. 
back on the trail. Oops, I guess I need to zoom it out. You gotta love when you start on a trail and it says beware venomous snakes Rattle and snakes. coyotes. Coyotes. Uh, I saw something about tigers and lions too, but I think it was a joke. <laughs> Maybe. It doesn't seem like a right part of the world, but there are a lot of zoos here, so who knows what got out. Siegfried and Royce. Yeah. Yeah. White tigers. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they let the kitties out finally. Yeah, it could be. So, um, Vegas, if you come here, you got to go to the Dam Dam. That was like my favorite thing here. I love the strip, walking around and and all the neon and all that stuff. It's and just so much fun to people, people watch, watch and yeah. just see little things here and there. It's it's I think it's a ball. And it's, it's a pretty good mix of uh, modern day living, and you go around a corner and you're almost like back in the 50s again. It's pretty cool uh, the way they preserve some things and demolish other things. So Vegas is cool, very cool. A lot of good hiking trails we come out to and those what were those weird painted rocks that we those towers seven magic mountains yeah that was neat yeah was i liked neat. it yeah i will say that um i grew up on the east coast where uh you did everything you could to hit another car with your car when you were driving like you just stay three inches off their bumper and uh give the old one finger salute when you go by them uh <laughs> then i moved to the west coast and uh Everybody's very courteous and clearly you get three car lengths between cars when you do everything, anything. So, but Vegas um, is somewhere in the middle of that. Yeah, they're bringing back the East Coast old school. Yeah, driving. yeah, they're, uh, you got to be on your, your game when you're driving here because uh, it's high speed limits and um, there's a lot of people um, have race cars, at least they think they do. Or a lot of road construction. Yeah. Seems like every time we go somewhere, we send road construction. Now, if you're if you're young, say under the age of 25, and you rip your muffler off your car, you've got a race car now. <laughs> and uh, we hear a lot of That's those really true. fast cars. And uh, I say to Stephanie, uh, can I just blow these guys off because I got 450 horsepower and a turbocharger and stuff? And she's like, be calm, Jeff. I'm like, all right, all right. That sounds like me. I digress. Like let's, uh, let's be cool again. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Another plane. Yeah. There's a banner flying over down there. It's a control banner. It might say, let's go, Brandon. That would be so funny. <laughs> There's a plane flying with one of those banners, the advertising banners. It's red, white, and blue. Not sure what it is yet. I'm Wait. gonna go on a limb and say it's Let's Go Brandon, <laughs> which we all know what that code is for. Uh, I still can't see it, it's pretty far away. Or it could be Marshall's Department Store. It's one <laughs> or the other. <laughs> We're waiting for it to get a little closer so we can see what they're advertising. Right. Probably a casino. Good news, we're going downhill. Yeah, we have a little bit of downhill. I need hey. to just stop my bitching and uh, just Amen. Just go with it. She's 10 years younger, you know. She can go a lot harder walking than I can. But it's funny because even when I was really younger, I've always been a really slow walker, so. Like, even if I was like 25, 30, I'd be walking along and somebody 85 would walk right by me like I was standing still. <laughs> so, uh, I've tried yeah. to take it up a notch, but I'm just Jeff not a fast walker. Jeff is a stroller. I'm a stroller. Yeah. As we say in New England, I'm a stroller. A stroller. So, I'm if you ever go hiking with us, it's more of a... Yeah, bring a chair and a beer because uh, you might be sitting down a lot. <laughs> it's like, it's a stroll uphill, as Jeff says. <laughs> But this is a nice trail. Yeah. This is a really nice morning walk and uh, hike. And we're coming to another rattlesnake pit. So we're going to get across this quick here. So the 
this is what we're walking along here. Up this trail. Jeff's working on a rocking issue. I blew a tire. We're good. We're good. <laughs> all good? We're good. Yeah. good. Let's do this thing. And we're coming up on another viewpoint. And again, there's benches to sit and chill. They call this the Sunset Trail because of the spectacular night light show you get from up here. So I think people just come and hang out. It'd be a great place to have a picnic in the evening. Honey, how's that rock coming? I don't know. <laughs> just leave me here. Just go on. <laughs> Come back, send the 911 or whoever to come and get me. Because I'm going to be down for a while. <laughs> the drama. Yeah, yeah. A lot of drama. Nobody wants a stone in their shoe. So, uh, I, nobody wants to see me lift this leg up either, so. <laughs> Pretty little canyon right here, some big boulders in it. So this is a part of the trail we're heading down here. It's a little steep, I just wanted to show you guys. And you do have to take it slow through this area. Just an FYI, this is on the way back down. So. Okay, I'm going to turn it off because i got a big jump here. These are the signs along this trail. Dangerous snakes. Dangerous snakes may be found in this area and will defend themselves if cornered or disturbed. They are important members of the natural community. FYI, guys. Okay, so we finished our hike and we are probably sunburned. Yeah. And, <laughs> it was uh, warm. All those people like my brother that have commented, where's your water? Ah, uh, forgot it again. Yeah, it's sitting in so, the car, which is up ahead of us. Yeah. It should taste real good. It's sitting in the warm sun. <laughs> so I'm going to guess it's going to be about 125. So that should taste real good going down. But we wanted to thank you guys um, for subscribing and watching the videos. And if you haven't, subscribe. Hit that like button. It would help us out a great deal. And... Um, I think you'll see some fun places to go and give you guys some travel ideas of your own. So take care, everyone. See ya. Mm -hmm.